Tai Minosi. This week, I'm going to be trying something new every single day. I feel like this is something that we should try to do every single day, but I'm specifically going to be trying this week to document my experience of trying a new thing every single day. And today's thing, waking up at 5 a.m. This is like my excuse for not doing the waking up at 5 a.m. every day for a week video. <laughs> So I'm just doing this one instead. <laughs> so I did actually wake up at 5 a.m. today and it was interesting. Actually waking up wasn't the hard part, but I found myself really struggling to get out of my warm bed into the cold air and like being productive. All I've really done this morning is made my bed and I did my hair and brushed my teeth and that's about all I've done and it's been almost an hour. <laughs> but I'm trying to just enjoy this morning as much as I can before I have to go off to school. Hey guys, and welcome to day two. Today's new thing we're gonna be trying is hallucinate, nope, meditation. Nope, I have never meditated before in my life, and today we're gonna be trying it for the first time. I'm sure I have technically meditated, but I've never like sat down and tried to do it for realsies. <laughs> no. So let's go ahead and give it a shot today. We're gonna look up a meditation video on YouTube. Meditation, 10 minutes, that seems like a good amount of time. Okay, so we're gonna set up here. I don't know if I'm gonna need to like lie down or if I just sit. Earbuds in. Video, hold up. Ooh. No, I'm really tired, so the chances of me falling asleep during this meditation are very high. An ad just played and totally ruined the moment. <laughs> that was scary. So I just finished my meditation. I didn't sleep, but I came very close to sleeping. There was a couple of times when I am about to fall asleep, I do this thing where like, I like have a little like spasm, or it's not, I know it's not called spasm, but it's like where like I have like a sudden movement. And I think I caught it on camera like twice. So that's interesting. And yeah, this is something I'm really glad that I tried. I might do it again sometime, or I'll just take a nap. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome to day three. I actually went to spectate a cross country meet today, which I've never done, surprisingly, considering I am a cross country runner. But every time I go to a meet, I'm always running in it. I've never like skipped on a meet and just cheered or anything. I've always been running until now, where I went to watch the state meet where one of my friends was running. So that was the first time I'd ever done that. So I did that. Hey guys, and welcome to Background Noise, and welcome to day four. Today, we're going to be trying to bake something new. Although, I would hardly call it baking, I would hardly even call it cooking, and more call it scavenging. So I'm going to be making bark. I was a little bit overwhelmed with everything that you could possibly put in bark at Wire. <laughs> I kind of filmed a clip of me in there, but I... So I don't really know what I got, so let's just see what we have to put in this bark. Vanilla stuff, I have normal chocolate chips, fruity pebbles, flavored animal crackers, hard candies to melt and put on there. 
And then I'm gonna get some little mint candies to crush. We just got so many options. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so that took a while, but we are here with everything prepared. Here we have our white chocolate and our normal milk chocolate, also our caramel, but I'm gonna have to remelt that when it's about to do it because it hardens very quickly. And then over here we have all of our toppings. We have the fruity pebbles, the crushed up animal crackers, the crushed up mint, and the crushed up pretzels. And I think it's time to go. So now we're doing pretzel a little bit over here in this corner. However, this seemed to harden up on us very quickly. So I'm kind of having to press it in. Thanks so much for recording. You're yeah. welcome, you're welcome. Keely yes. Faith reacting. <laughs> <laughs> so today we tried, this is Panera. We tried the chocolate croissant because it came for 99 cents of Malia's meal. <laughs> so thanks Malia for that. You're welcome. And the sacrifices. It looks like a pastry coated with chocolate and powdered um, sugar and yeah. You gotta, well, I should eat it with fork, but yeah, it's okay. You gotta rate it uh, something out of ten. Okay. How many croissants out of ten is this croissant? Oh, smart, smart, smart. What's your favorite croissant? Regular, <laughs> I guess. I've never had any other croissant. <laughs> <You're>, uh, <laughs> oh, I got a lot of the butt thinking. of the croissant. <laughs> the butt? That's That's the, butt. the butt. Did you get any chocolate on the inside? I got a little bit, but not enough for the full rating. Oh. Okay, try a little more. Is it bussin' bussin'? Yeah. Period. Definitely period. an 8 out of 10 croissants. 8 out of 10? Yeah, I feel like it what's, could be improved. What's it missing? The crunchiness is a little bit too much for me. I feel like oh, croissants should be crunchy. They shouldn't. They should be soft and fluffy. But that's my review. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Hey guys, it's day 5. Today we're going to be trying nail art. I've done some nail art before, but I've never done nail art like this, and this is definitely going to be a challenge and a new thing for me. So this is the thing I'm trying to recreate. It's this picture. I am not going to, I think I'm only going to do two rows and not like four, because that's like a very small little area there. We're just going to try my best to recreate this. Let's go get some colors out. I also have this thing. It's a little nail dryer. Isn't that smancy? I got it like solid eight years ago. Hey guys, so um, I did the first thing. This hand looks pretty good. This one, not so much. Okay, hey guys, so I finished the nails. Surprise, surprise, I decided to add a little bit of silver on the top so I like to really bring it all together. This was so much fun. I actually am pretty proud of how they turn out. I mean, they're not perfect by any means, especially this finger right here. Um, I don't know what's going on with that one. <laughs> but like in general, I think they look pretty good. It's just the overall look. They're fun, they're pretty. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is day six, night six. And today we're gonna be trying a heatless curling method on my hair. This is gonna be like an overnight thing where I sleep in it. And yeah, I just really wanted to try this out. I thought it sounded cool. My hair over time for some reason has gotten really wavy. So I either have to like commit to the curls by doing like a curling method or I have to try to straighten it and it does not hold straightness very well. But it does hold curl well. So I'm hoping that this method will make it look cool and we'll see how it compares to my normal method. So basically it's called a double twist braid. I watched like a video from like 2014 on how to do this. So you start with making this little triangle piece and then you split that in half. Now, away from the face, 
and then you grab some more hair into the bottom piece and then you go back up over it. I'm not showing you very well. If you want to figure out how to do this, we'll look it up. <laughs> and twist. The good news is it doesn't have to look good right now. It has to look good tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so now I have to like do this thing where I like turn it out or something. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right. We're going to tie this now. It actually does not look that bad. I feel like I did do it correctly. Oh, it's definitely coming undone though. I did not do that tight enough. Let's do the other side. Moment of truth in this one. Okay, that one's a lot better. All right, uh, I'll see you tomorrow when I let you know if this worked. I don't know what happened overnight, but a little wild, but let's just see. <laughs> okay, I don't hate it. I think it looks pretty good. I think this method definitely worked. It wasn't that hard, and it wasn't like uncomfortable to sleep on or anything. So I gave it a thumbs up.